Hi everyone, as requested I'm going to show you the results so far that I've had from using the Paula's Choice Resist products. Um, I've only been using them for a month and I've got four of her products from the Resist range and they are the Advanced Replenishing Toner, Skin Remodeling Complex, the Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum, sorry, and, and a 2 AHA Alpha Hydroxy Acid Treatment, so 5% one and a 10% one. Um, I'll put all the full names down below in the information box. Now I had a lot of advice, lovely advice, um, regarding using these products because I hadn't ever used an AHA on my face before so I was quite nervous. Um, and I was wondering whether I should use the whole range together and see what the effects were or because normally I, I only introduce one product at a time because you know then if you have a reaction you know what you're having a reaction to. <clears throat> so and I did get some people give me that really good sound advice that I usually take. Um, you know, usually only introduce one new product at a time. Um, and I also got advice about using the alpha hydroxy acid. Now the ten percent one I was particularly worried about, and it does say. Um, you can be left. It can be left on overnight or rinsed off after ten minutes. Just depends on how well your skin tolerates it. Uh, and I had some people recommend washing it off after ten minutes because it would be too strong. I had some people say leave it on overnight, otherwise it won't be able to do its work. And um, I decided to. <coughs> uh, make my own decisions up. Oh, and the toner, usually someone did mention that toner's a bit of a scam, and I do agree with that. It's not absolutely necessary for you, but if you like it, then it's good to have. So I normally wouldn't go for the toners. Um, I mean, I use my Akamuti one, bef mist in, before I put my facial oil on. One, it helps my facial oil that I usually use from Akamuti. Um, oops, sorry, <laughs> which is here, this Replenishing Rose Facial Oil, which I haven't used all month, um, which has hurt me, because I really love the, I really love the product and the smell and the well-being it gives me. Um, anyway, that's why I use a toner, um, but this one I decided to get because it's packed full of antioxidants, and that's quite rare, and I was thinking, I did see reviews that some people use just this in the summer as a moisturiser so I thought I could use it as my antioxidants and then put an SPF over in warmer times so that's one of the reasons I went ahead and bought that and it does say it's antioxidant rich and a unique blend of ingredients that help restore and rebuild skin's delicate balance so it can produce more collagen and help reverse damage and you'll experience a visible improvement in skin's softness, texture and radiance. Um, but I decided to even ignore my own usual um, careful usage of products and because I just really wanted to try the whole, all of these products in synergy to see what would happen. <laughs> no, it's kind of a bit dangerous, but um, I just really wanted to see what would happen, what difference it would make, using them all together as they're designed to be. Um, so, um, i just let you know, I haven't got any makeup on my face. I've got some lip cream from Inglot in number 15, a lip paint duo, just a very basic natural kind of colour. And I've curled my lashes. That's that's my vanity for you. <laughs> I didn't come on completely barefaced. Um, well, the face is just, I just wanted a bit of something on my lips. Um, so, yeah, this is my face a month later. I don't know if you can, I'll get closer in a minute. But, <clears throat> excuse me, what I have is, um, I used to refer to it as a crease, but I guess I'd better call it a wrinkle for the very first time in my life, here. We've got, obviously got lines up here, you know, a little bit here and fine lines there, a bit of crow's feet going on, <laughs> a little bit there. Um, and for anyone that doesn't know, I'm 
38. In a few months I'll be 39, so um, I'm clocking on to 40 soon. So um, I, I just wanted to try something that would help um, with the fine lines and wrinkles I already have and help pre prevent as much as possible. Um, anyway, I've probably waffled on for ages, so I had uh, some scarring, like hyperpigmentation from spots in the um, hollows of my cheekbones, and I am pretty sure. I am pretty sure that that has evened out a lot. I mean, it's still there, but it's only been 30 days. But it really has. I'm in quite amazed actually that it's evened out quite a lot. And I'm pretty sure the wrinkle is not quite as deep as it was. I mean, it's it's not like major difference, but I I really do think it's not quite as deep. And um, my forehead lines, I'll just do it like that without wrinkling or anything, it really does look like it's they've been rubbed out a little bit, if that makes any sense. Um, so what I'm going to do is do before and after pictures and um, you can see for yourself and see what you think. Um, but I do think the tone of my skin is more supple, it seems more toned and, dare I, you know, it just seems more like plump. So I don't know if the collagen um, producing the antioxidants and peptides and things are actually working or whether it's just wishful think thinking, but it does feel more useful. And uh, you know, I think it does look quite radiant. I don't know how it's coming across on camera. Um, and it would be a miracle because I do get very little rest, um, very little sleep, but and so I am guilty of rubbing my eyes a little bit sometimes, but um, I think my dark circles are not quite as dark. So, I've been really impressed, let's just say that. Um, see me back out. So, so far, I do think it's had a really good effect on my skin, um, and I will say that I've had no problems using the 5% uh, AHA treatment. And the 10%, oh sorry, it's the wrong one. The 10% AHA, AHA treatment. Um, the first time I put it on, I had a very slight tingling. I wouldn't really call it stinging as such, but it was definitely something going on. But it was very mild and it went away after a few minutes. That was the first application. I've been using this once a week. And, and then, um, Second and third week, I didn't have anything, and in the fourth week, funnily enough, I had a little bit of sting in there again, but it was even milder, and it only lasted a few seconds, so I've been able to tolerate this really well, and in the last week, I upped this to like twice a week, and the other products I've used in conjunction with this, with this range, is I've used the Bioderma Krylin H2O to remove my makeup, and my usual Body Shop Aloe Calming Facial Cleanser to wash my face and in the daytime I've been using my Estee Lauder Day Wear Plus Release Tint Formula with antioxidants and things so I've just kept to those products only and it's been hard not to use my facial oil it's been really hard not to use my Clarisonic or put a face mask on um, but I just wanted any change, if any, in my skin to be as a result of using, just introducing these new products and nothing else. And you're not really supposed to exfoliate any other way when you're using these sort of AHA treatments. So I think if you use one, uh, if, you use it, if I used a Clarisonic, I'd have to forego using one of these um, that night. And I've only been putting these on at night, not during the day. Um, actually, and, and the... Um, serum, only at night. The toner I've been putting on morning and night. And so I'm going to continue using it. So far I'm really um, happy, I have to say, because I've been, I've had this hyperpigmentation from spots there for as long 
as I can remember since I was a teenager. Um, you know, and I'm not a teen, that was a long time ago. So, um, I can't believe that after all these years my skin is actually becoming more even. So, I'm really happy. And I'll put some before and after pictures for you. And you can tell me what you think. So, um, that's my review. So far, so good. I'll continue with it for, you know, for the next few months and see what happens. And I'm going to be buying the, I think it's called a barrier cream or whatever, whatever the cream is that goes with this range, the Resist range. It's got retinol in it, so as I've tolerated her other products so well, which was a bit of a surprise to me, especially with the treatments, I'm going to use that um, and see what happens. So, thanks very much for watching and I hope it's been of interest to you. Bye. Hi, I forgot to mention that I received in a blog giveaway some Liz Earl products. Oh, very lucky me, from the lovely Simone Gannon. And if you don't know Simone, she is an international makeup artist and she's currently, she's Irish, but she's currently working in Bayran on shoots for things like uh, Bayran's Next Top Model and doing a lot of print work for Grazia magazine and um, she has loads of experience and she's absolutely lovely. We um, tweet a lot together and her blog is brilliant because it's such unique ideas and insights into the a professional makeup artist kit and world. Um, so I was really amazed and uh, chuffed to win the giveaway and I've never tried Lizelle, obviously I've heard lots about it. Um, so I'm looking forward to also introducing these in the next coming months. Um, and I'll probably use this um, Liz L Skin Repair Moisturiser at some point. Like after I use the the new Resist Barrier Cream from Paula's Choice. If I don't think my skin feels um, moisturised enough, I will probably add this to it. And it's as as it happens, it's for normal combination skin, which is perfect for me. Um, I'll also be using Lizelle Cleanse and Polish uh, to cleanse my face. I've heard obviously tons about that. I've got the muslin cloth here, or I'll use it with my Clarisonic. On the days, on the nights that I don't um, use the 5%, I might skip that once or twice a week so that I can use my beloved Clarisonic. So I'm going to change it up a bit. I mean, I've been very dedicated to that line and only that line. But um, it's been hard for me not to not to use any of the products I already have or and um, these lovely goodies that I got from Simone. Um, and this is an instant boost skin tonic. Um, so that'll be nice to use as well at some point. I'm not sure how I'm going to work it into the system yet. But I, I will. And she sent me a lovely card and some extras and this really gorgeous box. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So thank you Simone. Um, Simone also has a YouTube channel. She's not been uploading um, an awful lot of videos yet. It's quite new. But um, oh, I would really, really love it if you could show her channel some of the YouTube loving that you showed me. Because um, I personally would love the opportunity to learn from someone like Simone with the experience that she has. And she's got this lovely Irish accent and I really enjoy listening to watching her videos. I'll put links to her blog and her um, channel down below. And um, she's even got uh, some background footage of shoots she did with Bear Ron's Next Top Models. So um, she does corporate work, she does all kinds of work. I think she's done catwalk shows and things like that um, all over the world. So if you wouldn't mind checking out her channel and if you like what you see please show her some, some love and uh, that would be fantastic and if you want to drop my name say you heard about her from me um that would be lovely too so thanks very much take care bye